Yo, how's it going everybody? So today's video is actually a recommendation by a viewer and he asks, how can you create a carousel of videos with a, a previous and next button? And more importantly, he wants to see some dank memes. Now, I wish I could show you the memes, but I can't because my computer is so garbage that if I tried, it would probably explode. And basically what we're gonna be building today is this uh, carousel of videos right here. It has a next and previous button that we can play videos on. We have a title and we have uh, the credits for the creator of the actual video. And what we're gonna be using to build this is gonna be uh, React Player and React Bootstraps Carousel and the reason that we're using React Player and not just uh, Video.js or the basic video player in HTML is because I found that there's a lot of use in React Player and that there's a lot of people who are using that library so I figured that also teaching React Player would be a pretty good use of this use of this tutorial and without further ado let's get into it alright so I have a semi brand newish React app made here. And the first thing that we're gonna be doing is installing our dependencies. And to do that, what we have to do is npm i react dash player space react bootstrap bootstrap at 5.1.3. That's the latest version. So we're installing three dependencies, react player, react bootstrap, and regular bootstrap. and I went ahead and created a components folder in which I've hosted a bunch of videos and uh, these are the exact same videos that you saw in the introduction and this is what we're going to be displaying in the carousel. Awesome, so now everything is installed. I'm going to go ahead and run the app and inside of my components folder I'm going to just create our component that we'll be working in. So I'll do, uh, let's call it video carousel.js and I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of this content and paste it inside of here. Let's convert this import app CSS to, um, let's call it video carousel.css. Since we are gonna be um, messing around with the CSS a little bit, so I'll create that file as well. So video carousel.css. And the next thing is, let's go ahead and change this function app into ES6 syntax, so I'll do const video carousel is equal to that and arrow function there we go and let's go ahead and export it and I'll just do video carousel oops I'll type in that and let's go ahead and import it into our main app component just so we know that every single thing is connected so I'll do video carousel with a self closing brace and now we should see hello world or something like that. Or I think it was video carousel is what we did. There we go. Perfect. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and import all of our stuff so we don't have to worry about it later. So underneath this import, I'll do import react from react. Next thing we'll do is import carousel from react bootstrap. And next thing we'll do is import all of our videos. So I've actually named them vid one, two, and three. So I'll do import vid one from dot slash videos slash vid one. I think that's what it's called. Perfect dot mp4. And I'll just copy this and paste it two more times. Let's call this vid two. Import vid two and three. Vid three. There we go. And we import our CSS. Next thing we need to do is import React Player. So I'll do import React Player from React Player. And finally, we're, in, we're gonna import the CSS for Bootstrap. So that'll just be import bootstrap slash dist slash CSS slash bootstrap min, not min, uh, dot CSS, there we go. And now we should notice the text should change. Oh, change enough. Cool. All right, so now what we're gonna do is create our uh, variable that is gonna contain all of our video properties. So it'll be an array of objects. So instead of my const video carousel, I'll do const video properties is equal to array. 
object and the first thing we'll do is give it ID give it one next thing title video one source is gonna be from vid one right here and the most important thing is we always gotta credit the creator of the video so we'll do credit and I'll do video by cotton bro from Pex pexels I think that's how it's pronounced and I'll go ahead and copy this object two more times whoops there we go and this ID is gonna be this ID whoops this ID video and vid1 will become two and same thing down here will become three if you want to know how I did that I just highlighted the same things and control D on Windows I'm not too sure what it's on Mac Awesome, so now we have our ID, title, source, and credit. Let's go ahead and create our carousel. All right, so for our basic carousel, we'll, we're gonna be using this basic one from uh, React Bootstrap. It's just one with a simple arrow that'll go between slides. And to implement that, it'll be really simple. I'm gonna get rid of this video carousel text right here. And within our divs, I'm gonna implement our main carousel tag. So it'll be carousel. And inside of there, I'm gonna do curly braces, video, properties dot map and inside of there we'll give it uh, the custom name let's do video obj and index oh we already have our index so we don't need that so outside of this error function outside of this uh, outside of these curly braces I'll do error function curly braces and that's not defined so let's go ahead and copy this I think I might have misspelled it properties there we go and so what we're gonna do is return curly braces and the first thing that we'll do is carousel dot item key is equal to video obj dot ID and next thing we're gonna do is implement our react player so that's gonna be really simple so react player with a self closing brace and inside of there, the first thing we'll do is give it URL, which is going to be equivalent to our source right here, all of these right here. So that's just video, video obj source. Next thing, let's do width at 100%, pip to be true, controls true, and it should be playing automatically. There we go. And so now after all of this, um, we should also have our caption which will contain our title and the credit of the creator of the video. So that'll be real simple. It'll be carousel caption. Oops. And let's close that brace right there. So in between here, I'll do, let's do H3 and I'll give it video obj dot title. I think it's called title. There we go, yep, title. And the next thing we'll do is give it a P tag of video obj dot credit and let's see what this is yelling at us about so it's saying that jsx carousel has no closing tag well it does my computer is just too slow and now if we check it out we should see a carousel of videos awesome but now we can see that the arrows are too far apart and there's this whole it's just stretched out way too much so let's go ahead and fix that with some css all right, so the first thing that we'll do is get rid of this width at 100% since we don't need it. And I'm going to open up my video carousel.css. And the first thing that we'll do is target the actual main carousel class. And I'll do carousel and give it a width of 600 pixels and a height of 380. This is basically. Um, only according to the size of the videos that I have so your videos might be sized differently so just play around with the inspect tool in uh, Google Chrome and uh, you should have a pretty good idea of what sizes to give it but these are the sizes that I'm gonna give it right here 600 380 and margin auto to put it in the middle and the next thing I want to do is um, if we look at the arrows right here we'll see that it affects all of the video so we really want it to only have um, the ability to uh, go between slides right about here 
not overlapping our uh, play button. So to do that, I'll do carousel dash control dash prev, which is just previous, and I'll give it a height of 300 pixels. I'm going to copy this, and I'll do next. So both previous and next have the same properties. And now if we check it out, we should see that it's not overlapping anymore, so we can actually put the video, but we can actually go to each other, uh, two different slides. And we can also see that the UI, this is pretty clunky. We can see that um, the arrows should ideally disappear when our mouse is not on the video. So to implement that, that's really simple. Um, I'll do carousel dot carousel dash control dash prev dash icon and I'll do visibility to be hidden initially and then when we are on the video on hover should be visible and I'll copy this and we'll do the exact same thing for the next icon so same thing control D next icon and now if we test it out we should see no arrows until we go into the actual video there we go now we see arrows leave it no arrows we have our title our credit and the actual video itself that plays in the background awesome cool so that concludes this tutorial it was pretty quick pretty simple and uh, if it helped you out be sure to like comment and subscribe and if you have any more recommendations for videos be sure to let me know down in the comments below I always try to read as many as I possibly can, and uh, thank you guys for showing so much support, and I'll see you all in the next one.